A leading gospel band in the country has called for government support in ensuring that the local music industry is developed and sustained. This is because it is a major sector of the society where young musicians and artists continue to struggle to make a living. Lead vocalist of P2UIF and songwriter Pastor Peter Bogembo from Northern Province made this call with fellow band members in an interview with NBC National News while announcing the release of their latest album at the Wine Press studio. Jason Gimawuri reports. This is my argument to that. Pastor Peter Bugambo, when making this announcement on the new album, expressed the poor level of government support in the local music industry. He emphasized the need for a governing body like the Australian Performing Rights Association, or APRA, in Australia, to be set up in PNG to help support and safeguard local artists and their work. We don't have that in PNG. But a small kid who does like Glamour Sogeri can do it, and when a song comes from there, he's on demand. And he wants to go out and play, he hires. And he's also hiring sound system. So tell me who's making money. So who's been productive in this end? So I can tell you straight, it's a museum. Yes. So government has to have a body like APRA in PNG. And that body has to collect. They go out and collect from radio stations and TV stations. And if any supermarket is playing their song, they go and get money. Airline. Airline, terminal, if your songs are played, they collect and they pay to that small kid's account. Keyboardist Tamanabai shared a similar sentiments for the industry to be supported by a legal body. APRA is a, is, is, is just a, a acronym for Australian Performing Rights, rights Association. Association. These are the guys that uh, protect the rights of the artists or the songwriters. Um, technically, every songwriter is supposed to earn something, anything that's played on air. In any form, that's where, yeah. and these are these are the bodies that, uh, legal body that collects. Lead guitarist John Uwares says the new album is a tribute to the forefathers of a string band in Oro Province. From Oro, we had bands like the Hornets of Assisi, B.S. Riverside String Band, uh, Aero 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 String Band, yes. the Bokoros and the Canal de Secos. Those were groups that we used to listen to. They, they, a lot of them, a lot of these songs influence us and in fact inspired us to get into music, lovely songs. So it's it's our attempt to pay tribute to our forefathers as it were of, 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 of music. The band will be releasing their unplugged album titled A String Band Experience on the 14th of May at the Reverend Sioni Kami Church in Port Moresby. This will be their eighth album in total spanning over two decades since the band's formation 22 years ago. Jason Gimawuri, NBC National News, Port Moresby.